Mike Leach passed away. Obviously, you didn't cross paths for when you played and when he coached Washington State. But funny dude, one of the uh, top three funny coaches of our generation, I think, and uh, never played and never coached before taking a job as an offensive line coach at San Luis Obispo. It's a great story that people should know. It's an unbelievable story. I knew Coach Leach incredibly well. We spent a lot of time together when I was coaching in West Texas. We ran the exact same offense. So I spent, you know, 50 hours probably with him down in his office in Lubbock with his assistant coaches. And I remember walking in one of those nights. And now years later, I can recollect and and see the people that were in that room when we're going through offense. It was Lincoln Riley. It was Cliff Kingsbury. It was Dana Holgerson. It was Ruffin McNeil. It was Art Bryles. It was Sonny Dykes, Seth Luttrell. All of those guys were in that room and they were coaching the likes of Graham Harrell, who's one of the better offensive coordinators in all college football now. So the impact that he had on football from the high school level to the college level, and now even into the pro level, it is absolutely mm-hmm. immeasurable. And at 61 years mm-hmm. old, uh, it is it has been a gut-wrenching day for, for those of you yeah. who, who like college football, love college football, and him as a person was even better than than the coach that he ever was. Yeah, very sad. And if you want to get a laugh, I mean, you really you get all of his personality and go on any Twitter thread that shows jump in the rabbit hole of uh, quotable uh, Mike Leach moments. Very sad to uh, lose him today.